talk, I want to share with you the story behind a piece I've been working on for a while. It's the starting point for my heritage project, which you all know what that is now. Um, and this is just a small bit of what I hope it can become. These are some of my attempts at making a recreation of the Eastern Pacific giant conch, which is a type of giant sea snail whose habitat extends from the Californian coast down to Peru, where my dad is from. They're misshapen and very far from the real thing. The meaning behind this piece changed a lot from the original idea, and it, in fact, took on an almost opposite meaning. It first came to me after I returned from a three-week visit to Peru in March of this year. My dad, my, my sister, and I stayed with my grandma in Cusco, a city 3,400 meters above sea, levels, sea level in the Andes Mountains. We took Spanish lessons there, and I had a plan to keep only speaking Spanish when we got back to Canada. I've always felt insecure and frustrated at the fact I'm not fluent in Spanish. It made me feel insecure about my identity and cut me off from family who didn't speak English. This felt like my chance to finally turn that all around. The thing was, I had promised myself endless times before that I'd really start speaking Spanish this time, that this time it would really be different, um, and it never was. But despite knowing that, I felt obligated to try again. And as expected, I didn't stick to my resolve, and I was mad at myself. I wanted this so badly, so why couldn't I make it happen? The thing is, this is a common theme in my family. Change is elusive. We argue every week over the same things, and the same insults and apologies are made. No matter how bad things get, though, we return to a middle place where no progress is made. This seeped into my issue with Spanish. But the thing was, I desperately wanted to change this part of myself. I felt scared of growing complacent in my shortcomings. The shell became a metaphor for the part of myself I so desperately wanted to change but couldn't, and the part of myself I desperately wanted to bring to Canada. It extends beyond the issue of language and into my entire cultural identity. My dad would tell me about the shell, never calling it by name, and express how disappointed he was he couldn't bring it to Canada. For thousands of years, the Eastern Pacific giant conch were used as horns called ututus in the Andes, like the one on screen, and still are to this day. He said there was some sort of legal issue restricting its import. To me, the shell became a metaphor for my situation. My dad struggled to bring the shell to Canada, like I struggled to bring my other language and culture. The piece embodied my frustration for a while. This frustration was something I always struggled to express and that I could never communicate. While working to further develop the piece, I searched for official statements banning the import of the real shell. But the longer I searched, the more confused I got. I couldn't find the real statement. When I asked my dad about it, he first dismissed me, rejecting the idea he could be wrong. Later, when I asked him again, he searched for the statement and finally admitted that yes, he had been wrong. There were no restrictions on bringing the shell into Canada. So a wrench was thrown into my plans. But this honestly didn't disrupt me the way I expected. Because though the piece encapsulated my feelings, it didn't reflect who I am and who I can be. Because that piece was a resignation to my situation. To commit to it would essentially be throwing up my hands and feet, but that's not who I am, and that's not the message I want to put out with my art. So the piece took on a new identity. It still represented the struggle to bring something to Canada, my language and culture, but not the impossibility of it. It represented the mistaken belief that I didn't have the power to change my situation. I'm still struggling to believe it myself, but I know it's possible to accomplish what I want to. In some ways, it's harder to change than to accept defeat. With this piece, I make a commitment to believing in the possibility of that change. I can also now accept the many imperfections of this piece, its lumpiness and lack of realism, because it reflects me. The version of my language and culture I'll bring to Canada from Peru will always be flawed, but that isn't necessarily something to shine away from. As I said before, this piece is only the starting point for the creation of more similarly themed art. It's also the beginning of a personal journey. I hope through continuing this series, I can continue to discover truths about who I am and who I want to be. Thank you.